Well, I'm going to do a review of Survivor Series because me and Jen went last night. We're in Rosemont, Illinois, and, and um, I mean, it was my first ever live event of ever going to a pay-per-view. I mean, I went one time to a school and paid to see wrestling in a gym, but, you know, it wasn't the big wrestlers, you know, just independent scene. Um, but I said, one thing I want to point out before I start on anything else, I said, people, this was stupid. They announced, had a preview that Seth Rollins was going to face The Fiend tomorrow night, which is tonight, because they're having Monday Night Raw in the same arena, in the All-State arena. Um, that... Yeah, the Fiend would be defending the title against him still cage. So that just got, blew any chance of Daniel Bryan winning. That he just flat gave it away. That was stupid. Yeah, I mean, it was a good show. NXT won every match except one. The, the five-man... Uh, or 15-man elimination match, Raw versus SmackDown versus NXT, which Roman Reigns wound up being the one to win it. Um, I guess they didn't want to make Braun Strowman look bad and let him get counted out. But, yeah, and everybody was into it to the end, and then people started chanting, this is boring, like the main event was dragging. I don't know. What happened there? It could have been, yeah, better, better spots in it. And people... Yeah, it was supposed to originally be in The Miz taking on The Fiend, but where they had that layover in Saudi Arabia, they changed it to Daniel Bryan. But, I mean, it, I mean, it was fun going there, getting to see it. I mean, it's different, you know, when you see it live because there's no commentary, you know, that's on TV. I, I didn't know that. I did not know that, that there wasn't no commentary when you was there. I mean, I mean, to sound, you know, stupid, but that was a new one on me. But I guess, you know, you couldn't hear it over the f people in the audience. Yeah, and me and Jen made signs but never held them up because they never spotlighted us over that where we was sitting and yeah and the old bitch Brock Lesnar retained I heard that Vince wanted Ray to win and there was a big argument between him and Brock backstage you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, or whenever, before Survivor Series ever happened, and Brock didn't want to do it, and you see Brock retained. And, uh, yeah, and I was hoping Undertaker was going to show up, to, uh, show up, stand there, and stare at the fiend. You know, to tease a match between them, but we didn't see that because I guess, you know, they'd already give it away because of that podcast with Stone Cold after Survivor Series went off the air. Uh, well, yeah, Adam Cole, yeah, the, and that. What is that guy's name? They had a good match. Yeah, it was a good experience to be there. You could see right down in there. I filmed a bunch of videos of it. 
maybe saving the Undertaker versus Fiend for WrestleMania. Because somebody eventually got to take the Fiend down, and eventually he's going to get beat. I mean, to me, the only body that makes sense is the Undertaker. That makes that, you know, believable. They could put him down. I mean, I'd have liked to have seen they've been a, a triple threat match, the Fiend, Brock Lesnar, and Adam Cole, but apparently we wasn't going to do that because they didn't, you know, I guess want to make nobody look bad. Uh, Adam Cole or somebody, the Fiend having to take a foul to Brock Lesnar or, or Brock Lesnar, yeah, the Fiend getting Brock Lesnar. Oh yeah, I guess Brock really would have whined and bitched then if the Fiend had tug him out. But. Yeah, and I'm going to get it on DVD, yeah, because I want to watch it again, you know, from seeing it, you know, how you do the commentary and all that. But it was a good show. But like I said, yeah, everybody was into it up to the main event and started booing, and then people was uh, booed Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, because people, yeah, and you heard CM Punk, everybody was chanting CM Punk. You know he's coming back to wrestle. You know he will. Probably him and Seth next year at WrestleMania. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye.